Welcome back to the Total Boat Shop. If you'll remember from last week, we're working on a plug for a motorcycle seat. As you can see, there are still some low spots in our plug um, from the hot wire cutting as visible right here and a couple on our seat surface. But this isn't a very big deal as after the fiberglassing process, we'll still have an opportunity to fare our lows and really get the final sh shape that we're looking for out of our plug. Um, at the end of our previous video, we had left off with a, a rough shape of the seat and I spent a little bit of time really sanding down the edges and really getting the shape that I wanted to for, our, for my part. Here it is, you can see here, that black line just shows the part line of what will actually end up being my seat. It's a little 360. You can see the other side. I try to be as symmetrical as possible before we put some fiberglass down because uh, it's really important that you get rid of most of your highs right now while it's foam and it's easy to sand down and get it ready for the fiberglassing process. For that, we'll be using some fiberglass scraps that I've cut down to a manageable size and some eight ounce boat cloth um, as our base layer. As you can tell, this kind of looks a little strange, but once I get it on my plug, this actually goes this way, once I get it on my plug, you can see that I cut all these darts in the fabric to actually help it lay down and conform to the part a little better. So as you can tell, this will set us up and give us a good base layer that'll get most of the coverage on the part. So you want to make sure that before you start wetting out your fiberglass that you really conform it to your part, cut the darts where there's excess fabric for glassing our plug, we'll be using the Total Boat 5 to 1 epoxy system. It's important to use epoxy when making a foam plug because most polyester resin systems will actually cause the foam to melt. Uh, so, but luckily enough, we have some uh, Total Boat epoxy here. Uh, as I said, it's a 5 to 1 system, so it's five parts resin to one part hardener. But these are calibrated pumps, so it's one pump to one pump. They did all the work for you there. So we'll be starting out with five pumps of, uh, of each to uh, wet out our fabric here. Once you've got your epoxy mixed, you wanna start wetting out your glass on the wide, flat, open areas. Make sure you really work the fabric and don't leave any spots l lacking of glass. And then you wanna work a little bit more to, to your crevices, to where you put your darts and uh, you have all your darts overlapping where they should be and that you don't leave any parts uncovered. And you wanna make sure you tap down as well as brush on the epoxy to make sure that you get rid of all air bubbles that are left. You'll see that when the fiberglass is properly saturated, it is almost completely clear and you'll be able to see the foam underneath. That'll allow you to see all the air bubbles that are left behind and make sure that you can tap them down with a brush and work them out. You can never have too much epoxy. It's good to always add a little extra because that will fill some of the voids and make sure that you don't have any air bubbles left behind. If you need to mix up more epoxy, then go ahead and do so. You want to make sure your darts are properly wet out and that they are well overlapped and that you're getting full coverage on the part, that there is no foam exposed. Once you've done that and worked your way around the whole part, that'll leave you with this. A finished part, fully covered in fiberglass. And now once the epoxy is cured, we'll sand it down a little bit and start our fairing process.